G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. Today, we're getting into another episode of The Big Bang Theory. This one is Season 2, Episode 12. It is called... The Killer Robot Instability. Very good. Now, um, I'm just saying because we we see a still image of this episode, it looks like that um, they built a robot. robot <laughs> and... It reminds me of Robot Wars on the television. Oh yeah, growing up, yeah, it was on free to air throughout the day. So, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into it. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. And now, let's get it. Let's go. That's the last servo. Behold, Monty. Yeah, easier. Thank you. Enough horsepower to drive 110 pounds of mechanized death in 4.8 <laughs> seconds. Is it wrong to say I love our killer robot? I both love and fear it. Let's destroy something. Perhaps today is the day we finally find out what's inside the magic eight ball. Uh, it's an icosahedral dye floating in tinted blue water. Spoiler alert yeah, yeah. before you say <laughs> things like that. Yeah. Let's ruin it. The toaster oven. Sorry, you little nerd. You were just in the wrong boys' room at the wrong time. Gentlemen, goggle. We need the appropriate words to mark this historic scientific event. How about die, toaster, die? <laughs> That'll do it. Die, toaster, <laughs> die. Oh, God. Yeah. Get that thing up the shreds. All right, what's next? I'm just going to stay in tonight and do laundry. Holy sh! What the f? Are you sure about that? Holy poop. I was not expecting that. No. Poop oh, yeah. This door got the full Monty. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Kill a robot. We built it. It almost killed me. If it wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. <laughs> Excellent. Are you unaware of the upcoming Southern California Robot Fighting League Round Robin nope. Invitational? Nope. Since I moved last year, not all my mail has been forwarded. Maybe there's an awards banquet and a dance afterward. Perhaps you'd like to come with me. You'd be the only doable girl. Okay. You're a pig, Howard. Who's doable? Anything but a compliment. Howard, why don't we just work on the robot? Penny and I have begun our little tango. Oh, really? Carnal repartee, the erotic to and fro. That's brilliant. See? Now, people ask me, what's the difference between Howard and Penny? Howard is actually funny. Penny is, it's different, yeah? She's she's brilliant at what she does, yeah? The actress is brilliant at playing Penny. I understand that. But Howard is one of a kind. Yeah, That's that, the that's only like... thing. Howard is something that you will never see in a TV series, possibly ever again. Just by no, just by the way the world is. Yeah, that's no, I'm serious. I'm dead, dead serious. You would not see a Howard anywhere else. Normally, I can just ignore your little peculiar, you know, like Sheldon. In this room, you're the one who's peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, you are just pathetic and creepy. That's also true. That's also true. Oh. Exactly right. It is not a compliment to call me doable. No. It is not sexy to stare at my ass. Well, and say, Ooh, when there's a group of males together, you'll be quite surprised what those males talk about. Yeah. Doable is something nice between males. Trust me. Now, females. I've heard what females talk about when it comes to men. And it's ten times worse. Uh, but it, one thing is talking. Like, ooh, look, that girl, blah, blah, blah. Another thing is actually going to the girl and tell her. Yeah. That is true. That makes, it makes me And that's what like makes Howard, that's what makes Howard a pig. Exactly. Correct. If he can think about it, he can talk about it with his friends, but don't Absolutely. go to the girl and tell her because he... I mean, you make the girl feel uncomfortable. What are you going to say? I oh, know. yeah, you're doable. <laughs> what am but I supposed to say that about goes, like, That goes to show you the intelligence level when it comes to science with Howard. Yeah. But when it comes to sociability, it is like he's reckless. He's, there's, there's non-existent. But that, I think that's the problem with all. Like, they're all very intelligent when it comes to science. Sheldon as well. Sheldon is lack just bad. Of the rest of but the But Penny's opposite. She's highly intelligent when it comes to sh social abilities. Exactly. Yeah? They're the opposite. So. Exactly. That's why and I that's... say Penny is more what we find in the normal world. Correct. Because you don't go absolutely. around find pe finding people that know that much yeah, about science. Absolutely. You find people that don't know that much about science and they know a little bit more about socializing. Absolutely. Yep. I agree. Jelly, because jam don't shake like that. Oh, God. <laughs> 
between us ever. Shut Man, down. Isn't flirting? You're serious. Oh really? No woman is ever gonna flirt with you. You're just gonna grow old and die alone. Oh. Okay, that was way too much. That. Thanks for the heads up. Ooh. I'm going home to live my creepy, pathetic life. Okay, that was a bit too much. Someone had to say it. That's the savageness of females right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that that in the school grounds is what I call savage. There are plenty, plenty of people that are like that around the yeah. world that will say something like that and then but I feelings think, don't matter. I think really everyone, when you get angry, sometimes you say things and then you think about them. You're like, oh, why did I say that? But that is true. If you, you, go, you get hit up and you have to like explode. Some people explode. Like, but the thing is, uh, 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 yeah, that's explode. what I'm saying. Males more Males. use this exactly. and fighting. Females use that. Yeah. That's what you are good at. Mm -hmm. Really good at. And that's, I'm not being no, sexist no, it's, or it's anything. True, I'm just true. stating the truth. Women are more psychological and men are more physical. That's true. True. That literally will hurt him more than if she punched him in the face. Uh, well, Howard, that's a different story. Depends. If you punched Howard in the face, you, you may do some serious damage to the little fella. <laughs> uh, he said maybe we should enter you in the killer robot company. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, oh crap, they're gonna, she's going to attack me now. <laughs> Brain transplant $39.99. <laughs> it's Penny you're calling out to apologize, I reckon. Howard, the phone is ringing! <laughs> Mom, answer it! Hello? Oh my god. I work at a university. <laughs> school. Now pick up the phone. She's right. Did I ask Leonard to bring over your homework? <laughs> I'm a grown man with a master's degree in engineering. Want me to get you a popsicle? Cherry, please. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the cherry. All that's left is green. No, we we better kill myself. What's going on? I don't know. Now they're just <laughs> yelling about popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like really got to him. Despite his hard and crusty shell, Howard is a very sensitive man. Do you know he writes poetry? Really? Mostly about men from Nantucket and Hermit's name Dave. Mm. Okay. But he does it with real sensitivity. <laughs> hey, Horfstanner. Hey, Horfstanner. A wobba? A wobba? <laughs> you put a wobba? A wobba? <laughs> 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 oh, that's amazing. <laughs> His name is Monty. If you know who he reminds me of? Uh, what's his What's his name from Looney Tunes? Uh, Little Wabbit. It's about entering against my Wabbit, the Quipkey Quippler. His name is gonna be Squat Metal. Come on, is that really necessary? Trash talk is a traditional component in all sporting events. Uh, here we go. Okay. okay. Your robot is inferior, and it will be defeated by ours. Also, I'm given to understand that your mother is overweight. Oh, damn, son. Okay. Snap. I'll finish him myself. Forget the S T R F L R O I. Settle this Wabato a Wabato. Wabato and Wabato. We accept your challenge. Barry, we can't fight you tomorrow. Our engineer is incapacitated. Depressed because he's pathetic and creepy and can't get girls. We're all pathetic and creepy and can't get girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we fight robots. <laughs> what part of America is that accent from? <laughs> I need you to apologize to her. Get out. <laughs> She's like, get the hell out. We need him for a robot battle. Excuse me, how would deserve that? Yes, he was harsh, but he still deserved it. In bed for two days. Yeah, probably with a blow up doll. <laughs> Does yeah. It really matter? Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> guys devastate. How could I possibly devastate Howard? Yeah, because okay, don't take because it. Howard is a small man and he's got a fragile mind. You literally just shattered him because he thought he had a chance with you and you told him no girl's ever going to touch him. Most of the time you're the easygoing Bruce Banner, but then when you get angry, you kind of turn into like, you know, the Hulk. <laughs> I turn into a bear. <laughs> you didn't get the incredible Hulk from that? In here, at the other. 
Remember the day that we first met and you asked me to go to your boyfriend's apartment to get your TV back? You said you owed me one. There you go. All right, come on, that's not fair. Came home with no pan. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. I should probably give you a heads up about his mother. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. She's a delightful woman. You will love her. This is gonna be amazing. Now it's your girlfriend's here. Yeah, your friend's here to play with you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Your girlfriend's here to play with you. Do you want me to get your toys? <laughs> Howard, there's a blonde girl, Patsy, here to see you. <laughs> Who? Okay, now she's saying it's Penny. <laughs> Patsy. I don't want to talk to her. Hey. Like... Oh, she ran past me. <laughs> I just came by to see how you were doing. I'm fine. Your mom seems nice. I just want to apologize for some things that i have said <laughs> i'm sorry but if you think Coward. about it i'm thinking about it now he's actually never said really anything nasty to her well uh what about the uh the butt? no but i mean like 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 yeah yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. what i mean like telling her she's a failed actress or something like that you know what i mean yeah, yeah, he's yeah, never yeah. i'm thinking about it now he's never actually said something like that yeah. He's only said, if you think about it, in his way, in his mind, he was trying to be nice to her by yeah. saying those sorts of things, and he doesn't realize it's not. It's actually yeah. no, some okay. people don't like that stuff, like doable, yeah? yeah? Fine. You're sorry. Goodbye. Not traumatized by some random comment from some random woman. Yes, you are. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he's going to cry. <laughs> so close. That's Kripke's robot? No, quip key. Quip. You have to call it off. Run away from a fight. Oh, we spent our whole lives running away from fights. Monty has no fear. You can modify Monty so that he's prepared. How are we going to make any modifications without Wolowitz? Engineering is merely the slow, younger brother of physics. Watch and learn. Do either of you know how to open the toolbox? Oh, my God. Does anyone know how to open the toolbox? And he's when I was 14, I met Marcy Grossman. She was so beautiful. I told you, he's very fragile. I said that 100%. I'm telling you, if you said that to Lynn, he wouldn't act like this at all. He would be upset. He'd be more angry. But him, I'm telling you, he's a fragile little man inside. I'm telling you right now. I dedicated a song to her at the ninth grade talent show. Marcy Grossman is sunshine. <laughs> Marcy Grossman is the month of May. Oh. Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, Marcy. That's great. Grossman. And then she came up and spit in my hair. <laughs> you think you he would have learned his lesson? Maybe sometimes you try too hard. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? You're smart. You're funny. You have a cool job. This is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. I like him. He's a nice guy. Howard. Howard. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. Oh, no, he is. <laughs> nice little bot you've got here. It can cut through steel like it was Wubba. Wubba. So we've got to call this off. Who cares? That's what like that you have made my life a series of painful noogies and humiliating wedgies. Well, that stops now. The improvement you're able to make on the robot was to put fresh batteries in the remote. Kripke will fall easy prey to my psychological warfare. You observe. Kripke. 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 I would ask if your robot is prepared to meet its maker, as you are its maker. Clearly, the two of you have met. Uh, okay. <laughs> Burn. What is his problem? <laughs> what is he problem? Oh, no. Way to bust out the Jedi mind tricks, dude. Standard robotic fighting league rules apply. This is a sweet fight. The sweet has no rules. Time is to the death. Ready, set, go. <laughs> you got this. You're prepared for anything he can throw at us. Whoa. Okay. Are you sure? That's new. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> Don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. <laughs> what the oh, hell? <laughs> so much for making up for the emotional wounds of childhood. <laughs> I did this. Uh, you know what anybody says, this is my fault. No one's arguing with you, dude. You know what? Sometimes I watch this and I think, <laughs> what the hell? No, not what the hell. Sometimes I watch this and I think, oh my god, uh, am I a geek? 
Am I a nerd like these guys? Yeah. Yeah, I just Honestly, it. sometimes they it. like some of the things they say or do, I'm just like Please, I've done that. Bad oh, yeah. What happened to you? <laughs> he slipped and fell. Yes. This guy, that guy. How can you get done for one punch? <laughs> I fucking don't know. Both eyes and the nose. I don't like, know. He, she must have a big fist to I get, don't like... Know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. All I can say is that I've never hit a girl before, but if I did that to poor Tanya, I, I, I don't even think it would make that much of a freaking thing on 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 your face probably no that's what I mean. how many times <laughs> that's she what I mean, like <laughs> she must have beat the hell out of him because <laughs> that's that's more than just one punch okay. i mean you punch me in the face i'll probably get a blood nose yeah not even like i said me doing that to a woman which i've never done before would do something like that on one side maybe yes <laughs> yeah. you punch on one eye or, yeah. <laughs> he's been hit by a bus yeah surely he knows what bathtubs are capable of doing when you don't treat them with respect. <laughs> so, what do you think, Howard? Uh, a little electrical tape, some solder. Are you insane? I've seen space probes that crashed into the desert that were in better shape than this. We'll bury him in the morning. It's a simple ceremony. I'll speak. Leonard, you'll play your cello. <laughs> Sheldon, honey, aren't you getting a little carried away? I mean, it's just a uh -oh. toy robot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Just a toy robot. Oh, no. No, Sheldon. Go. Penny, go. Go apologize. Apologize. Go apologize. Penny. I know I got it. Then, Benny, Benny, Benny. The way I see it, I'm halfway to pity sex. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know what I was talking about now. Um, well, um, I really feel sorry for um, Howard in this episode, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I know he wasn't being respectful to Penny and stuff, but she didn't have to go and tell him that, like, being so straightforward about it. It's what you were saying. She could have said, oh, just... I'm not interested in you, uh, blah, 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 and stuff. But that shows you that some people, when they do stuff like that, it's because they have a lot of insecurities. Mm. He tried to be nice and write love songs to girls and try to be romantic and try to show his feelings. And every time he got spat on the hay or, or got told no so many times, he got refused so many times, that now he doesn't know how to act. He used the humor and trying to be to compliment girls what he thinks sure. he, he's what he thinks is the proper way he thinks he's complimenting the girls which when he's actually not but like yeah there's a lot of people like that out there they they don't want to show their insecurities and that's that's the way they act so yeah i felt really really sorry for him in this episode because he, we also got to see another side of him that we didn't really know it was always like the perverted and and now we know he's actually sensitive yeah. inside and and i like that yeah that's right and yeah i mean for monty r.i.p monty he's mm. dead now they'll have to build another robot yeah because sheldon was a little bit too arrogant to actually Except that uh, Kripke, Kripke, is that his name? Kripke's robot was better than theirs. And now they have to build another one. Yep. So, yeah, I like this episode. It was really, really interesting. We're going to get into another one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out and speak to you next time. Bye-bye.